Well, hello everybody. Tommy, your easy choice again. Hope you're having a great day. It's a little chilly out there. Glad I'm working inside. Okay, let's do a review. This wall here had a hole about this big. Okay, a lot of drywall people will do a butterfly patch. But I think I should make my work last better than that. So what I've done is I strapped a piece of wood behind the hole, secured it to this side and this side of the good drywall, and then put a piece of drywall in here, and then mud it, tape it, mud it again, weight, sand, and paint. Right here is still a little bit wet, so in order to reduce the sanding, I mean, excuse me, to reduce the dust from the sanding, you can paint over it you have to sand a little harder, but it's well worth it if you want to keep your dust down. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. So anyway, because this kitchen is blue this color, I had to match the wall. They didn't care for me to paint the rest of the kitchen. And so what I've done is match this wall to these walls, the adjacent walls. Now the thing about matching is, you don't have to make it absolutely perfect. But when you're cutting it in, you better do it perfect or it will show on the adjacent walls. This color, I will take the camera and show you the difference. There's not much of a difference. They wanted this wall fixed and painted, that's what they got. So, let's take a look. I'll try to be quiet, removing the camera. Here's the wall. There's one little spot that still needs to dry. The wall looks lovely. Now, right here is the adjacent wall. And if you look, they're so close, you can't even tell it. Unless anybody, if the tenants lived here, see the wall all the way around? Do a panorama, 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 panorama. We go all the way around and over on this side. See, you have to keep that line straight off the adjacent wall. Now the lighting's different. It actually looks darker, but the lighting is casting it to look different. But trust me, from a distance, you can't tell it. I also went around touching up all their trim. You know how trim gets nicks here and there. So I touched it up. You know, there were a lot of nicks on the trim. And so let's just do a walkthrough on this job. There were some nicks on this trim up and down. I think they had somebody in a wheelchair or something in here. And I just went around, got my paint that I really love using. Okay, here's another part of the job. There's some so just mud. Had some places, scuffs and holes in it, and I had to mud it. And uh, there's not much light in this room. So the lady who lived here gave me a request. She says, Tommy, can you paint this white around the hearth, these walls? And I said, well, I sure can. Well, it's two coats there. So that helps to absorb and have a little more light in here. This is two coats, by the way, semi-gloss interior. So I did two coats on that. Also, and I haven't been here long. This is my second day here, and the first day was a half a day. First day, I cut and rode all these walls. And uh, today, I touched up the trim and closet doors, all the doors, actually. But anyway, I cut and rode these walls, piece of cake. And yes, I'm alone, but I'm not lonely, not at all. So I cut and rode all this and uh, did the hearth, of course. And I put the TV back for her. She also wanted this painted. I told her it's okay to paint it, but try not to scuff, try not to move stuff on it or you will scuff it. So somebody painted it before. So all I can do is paint it now. And if it happens to come off, then we will have to prime it and kill its oil base. And maybe that would be enough to keep it on there. So I appreciate it very much. You watching? And uh, we're hitting very good. I'm glad to be seeing I'm at service. And I thank you.
So this is Tommy, your easy choice, wishing you a great day. Thanks for watching.